Um, <laughs> difficult because I'm not sure what my favorite mem memory is. One of my favorite scenes here is at eight o'clock in the morning when big students, little students, medium students are all playing either soccer or basketball on the basketball court. That's one of my favorite things here. The other is Friday assembly. Every, every Friday we have a very special assembly where parents are invited and all the students and all the teachers are part of it in the cafeteria. That's probably my favorite thing about AIS. Well, as an English teacher, that's a very hard word to define. Um, unique, there's only one of. But in all, of, in all existence, there's only one if it's unique. But the closest to unique that AIS is that it offers a community where all students, big, small, and in the middle, like I mentioned before, are part of the same community and everybody gets along with everybody else and works together and plays together. As a much bigger school and um, as a school that still offers a rigorous curriculum, that still offers reading and writing equally in English and Spanish, maybe that's what makes AIS unique, is the, is the fact that our students are bi bilingual but biliterate. In other words, they can, they can read and write well in two languages, very, un very unusual in any school anywhere, that all of the students can do that, not just a select few. Um, so bigger, with still a rigorous curriculum, um, still located at this special place, uh, with a special campus that I'm sure is part of what this is all about. Um, I guess that would be where I see it. Great teachers, great curriculum, great place. Okay, people from AIS, yes, there is George Carofino, who was one of the early formers, he wasn't called a founder, but he was one of the people involved in the creation of AIS. And unfortunately, he died in this last year. Um, so yes, he's someone who has missed here greatly. And there are a couple other people like Ron Marino and his wife who worked very closely with AIS um, at the beginning to put us on the direction that it is. And I would say um, an earlier director, Jaime Coandardi, who took over AIS and, and kind of formed it. And then others have taken you know, his, his place. I'm the second one since him. And, um, so those are people who contributed a great deal who are no longer at AIS. There was an art teacher, well, the fabulous one we have was away. She was also really good, art teacher, really good, who understood the, the vision and mission of AIS. Anna, can't think of her last name, but um, who else is missing? Those, I guess, would be the tops on my list because I haven't been working with the school full time until three years ago. So uh, those are the people I remember when I visit. Thank you.